it's that time of the year again. Towards the end of the year, when things slow down, it gets darker outside. It's open enrollment time. We got to find health insurance. Oh, yeah, I'm not talking about that. So we all need health insurance. By the way, this video is brought to you by Stride Health. It's a sponsored video, but I really like Stride. And here's why. Stride took the concept of getting health insurance for me in 2014 when I was just getting started as a driver, when I was driving full time, and made it very easy to sign up. Um, they gauged my income. They made a recommendation. The first year, they actually just recommended that I get Medi-Cal, uh, which I did. I was on Medi-Cal first, first year of driving. Standard mileage deduction brings your income down to like you know $18,000. So a lot of us actually are going to qualify for that. But if you don't, and honestly, just as a good resource for everything, Stride Health. Um, go there, check it out. The best thing that I liked about them, so the second year I did get a health insurance plan through Stride Health. And the best thing I like about them is they do make the, con the process of signing up and going through everything very easy. Uh, they'll ask you for your income and that helps determine whether or not you're going to go towards Medicare or towards an ACA sort of subsidy plan. Um, and then they'll ask you things like, you know, what sort of common prescriptions do you have? So that way you can compare um, how much each plan is going to cost based off of the deductibles and the um, co-pays and la di da di da Okay, so before I go any further, uh, it's important to remember that the deadline is December 15th. That's when open enrollment ends. And regardless of whether you use Stride Health to figure out your health insurance or anything else, you need to make sure you have a plan by December 15th. So I highly encourage, you know, if you haven't done that yet, take some time out of your day today or tomorrow and get it done. So um, the reason that I use Stride Health was because in 2014, uh, it was my first year being an independent contractor. Uh, and I was um, just kind of learning that I had diabetes. I didn't know at the time I had type one. Um, and you know, Stride Health helped me kind of figure out things and navigate through um, getting getting into insurance. So, uh, you know, especially for the first time of me being an independent contractor, I didn't have like a HR agent kind of, you know, from a traditional company come in and kind of figure things out and just kind of give me a paper to sign where they take $40 out of my check every paycheck, right? So, you know, as, as rideshare drivers and independent contractors, we're responsible for taking care of this ourselves, unfortunately, uh, as our own, we're sort of like our own HR people, which is good or bad, depending on how you treat it. Make it a good thing though. Um, so one thing I liked about Stride Health was that um, they took a complicated process that you know was trying to be figured out by people you know who work for government agencies as far as like signing up and the websites and da 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 proof of this and that uh, and you know they made it a lot easier so I just figured it out in like 15 minutes um, I, mean, I spent longer picking a plan but the process could take that long 15 um, and they got me what I needed to know when I needed to know it I had a calculator uh, where I could calculate the cost of insulin and other uh, things under each plan anyhow. Um, I got a plan and it helped me out a lot. It changed my life. Um, so, you know, open enrollment needs to be taken seriously. Again, it ends on 12, 15, regardless of whether you use stride health to figure this out, know that we need to figure it out. It's very important. I can't keep stressing this enough. I know I sound like a broken record record, but we have dangerous gigs. Uh, we spend all day in our car. Some of us are spending 12 to 14 hours a day in our cars. Uh, driving. Uh, and if you don't have health insurance, you're really just kind of asking for trouble because, you know, the probability of us getting into an accident just compared to other people is probably three or four times higher than a standard person who drives to and from work, maybe 30 miles a day. Get your health insurance figured out before open enrollment ends on December 15th, 2018. And I guess it's the same time every year. Now, some states, uh, open enrollment does go a little bit longer. I think here in California, it goes until January. Um, regardless, check if you're seeing this right now. I think we're going to post this about four or five days before uh, open enrollment ends. Uh, so, you know, really check it out.
special thanks again to Stride Health for uh, sponsoring the video. Very grateful. I love Stride Health. I'm going to use them again this year. You don't have to use Stride Health. We just want you to have ins health insurance. That way, in case anything happens, you're covered. And until next time, keep your eyes on the road, your hands on the wheel, and your wheels on the asphalt. Goodbye.